everyone and welcome back to Calling Cosplay. Today's tutorial is going to be a little different since the cosplay I am making will not be for me. So let's welcome our very special guest stars today. My forearm crutches! So this is Reginald the right and Louise the left. So I felt that it was long past time to make them their own cosplays. So I made little Supergirl cosplays <laughs> for my forearm crutches. And today's video is showing you how I made these covers. They're completely removable so I can make some for each costume and they'll always match. And then Reginald and Louise can always cosplay with me. So if you wanna know how to make their little their little forearm crutch cosplays, then keep watching. So first we're going to need to pattern out the cosplays. And that means we're gonna have to cover the mobility aid in saran wrap. So I'm gonna take Reginald here and I'm going to do my best to cover him in saran wrap. It was very difficult because he is so curvy. And then I'm going to take masking tape and go over that saran wrap. And should there be any hinges, any locking mechanisms, anything you want to move or be able to access, do not cover that in masking tape. And now I'm going to carefully cut off this, this mess I've created. I'm just going to cut along where I want the seams to be. So that's going to be at the very top and very bottom of the cuff. Now Reginald can be released from the patterning. After cutting everything off, you should now have a few different pieces. So I have this larger piece for the inside of the cuff and then the two outer pieces, which are separated by where the hinge is placed. Now it's time to break out the fabric. This actually uses very little fabric. So I suspect with almost any cosplay, you would have enough fabric left over that you could make these little costumes for your mobility aids as well. And I'm just going to add about like a finger's width of seam allowance on all sides. It's nice to have some room when you're getting these on and off of your crutches. Now I could not possibly send Louise and Reginald out to the con without looking fabulous. So that means I'm also going to do some more decorative steps. So I'm taking this spare red fabric again from my Supergirl cosplay just left over and I'm going to cut out some strips but that's still not enough. So now I'm going to cut out these yellow strips as well and then those are going to be layered on top of the red strip. And I'm just going to top stitch down this red strip. So I'm just folding over the edges of this fabric so it's nice and finished. And then I'm going to use a straight stitch and just straight stitch along the edge there, keeping all of those edges sewn down. And now to do the same thing with the yellow decorative piece, that is just going to go right on top of the red, same thing, folding over the edges, top stitching it, and then we can get to actually sewing together the cosplay. We're done with the decorative stuff. So I'm gonna take one edge and fold it over and sew that down so we don't have any of that raw edges. This is going to be the piece that is on either side of the hinge. I'm going to make a corset for Reginald and Louise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a buttonhole stitch. So I'm using the buttonhole stitch on my machine. You could very easily just do this by hand as well. And then I'm going to take a ripper and I'm just going to push the ripper through the opening in those holes just so there's a little hole for me to thread through the lacing of the little crutch corset. Now the outside facing portion of the crutch cover is finished. So we are going to sew this piece to the inside of the crutch cover and you're gonna really see this take shape now. So I'm just going to sew the three corners that are still unfinished and I'm going to sew them right sides together to that inside larger piece. We're gonna be able to flip this inside out very easily and all of our edges are going to be nice and finished. It's just these two little pockets and now we get to put Reginald and Louise in their brand new cosplays. So I'm just going to slide this cover on over the cuffs. It does really help that it is very stretchy. <laughs> and this is about how it looks and then I'm going to take I actually used a really thin elastic string so this worked really great because it would stretch as I moved the crutch cuff up and down and moved really great with the hinge and didn't get in the way so I'm actually just going to lace this up like you would a corset and in the bottom I'm going to tie it into a nice little bow so very beautiful and then as always, I just use normal headbands just to kind of hold the cuff together at the front. I have little noodle arms and my arm always slides out of the crutch. Do you think Reginald and Louise should have more cosplays? Maybe they need a really cool armor build. 
How about like some decorative stitching? How about some very nice embroidery for them? What do you think? What should they have for the next cosplay? I really want to know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.